In this tutorial we make the bevel of the letter and lightning in Cinema 4D. We complete with the compositing in After Effects. For the realization of the bevel, I have used the technique for Legend of the Guardians, but with some modifications. In Adobe Illustrator file, I realized the inside path of the letter's chisel bevel. We import our files into Cinema 4D. To center the file in the center of the scene, go in front view, and pressing the space bar. Activate the snap feature, and activate the check. Axis and Perpendicular. Activate the Move Pivot tool, and center our object. Disable the Snap, and insert the value 0 to center our object. In the information of the project, modify the frame rate from 30 to 24. Our document is composed of 240 frames. Open the Render Settings panel and enter the settings. Follow on video. Rename the file HP7 logo. In the project files folder, Find the file HP7 Start C4D, where I put all the layers present in the Adobe Illustrator file. Proceed with the realization of the bevel, starting with the letter A. Drag the tracks, outside and inside, outside the group. Disable the visibility of the group. To make this technique we must ensure that, on paths are set correctly the first set point. The first set point must be set to each letter, according to the form, and in the most important juncture. Insert the Loft Nerves tool, and drag inside the tracks. In the coordinates, we put the following values. 300, 3, 3. We position the inside part of the letter A by entering in the coordinates of Z the value minus 10. This is the result. In the case of letters with complex paths, 
must be added some points in the tracks to improve the mesh. To obtain sharp bevel, we select the points that make up the ends of the letter. And insert, on Z, the value 10. Rename loft, A, and duplicate the path outside. We apply an extrusion, with depth to 30. To finish, apply on Loft A, the Symmetry tool. Set the mirror plane on XY. Disable the check weld point. OK. We activate the Move Pivot tool and move the symmetry along the Z axis. with a value of 15. OK, perfect. Rename A and grouped. Every time we create a group, the center axis is decentralized. We must then center it with the coordinates X and Y of the track outside. Activate the pivot tool. Copy and paste the coordinates, and we put on Z, the value 15. In this way we can animate the point on its axis. We apply the same technique on all the other letters of the logo. Very important, if we want to improve the mesh of the bevel, we apply a subdivision with value 930. We make a render to see the result. OK, really good.
I reveal some other method to center the subject quickly. Select the path outside of the letter, and create a null object with the command Alt G. Drag the null object, outside the group. The extrude and the symmetry. And modify the Z coordinate, with value 15. The depth of the letter H and P is 20. In the letters P, O, E, with closed paths, you have to make cuts to keep the tracks are always open. I show you how I cut the letter P. The letter O. And finally the letter E. Insert a camera and, in the coordinates panel, reset all values. And insert in the Z value, minus 1920. We make a render to see the result. To activate the visibility of the subtitle, we must apply an extrusion in the subtitle. With depth to 3 and A fillet cups with radius 0 0.25. Now we can remove the reference to the axial center. Save this document HP7 bevel. Proceed with the animation of the camera. The animation starts from the frame 44. Put the following coordinates, X, minus 261, Y, minus 4400, Z, minus 125, Rotation, minus 22, 84. OK, the camera is positioned below the logo. Activate keyframes. Let's go to frame 64. Follow on video, values, and activation of keyframes.
We insert the last keyframe, in the Z position, minus 1820, and visualize the animation of the camera. As we can see, between the frame 64 and 74, the camera has a wrong move. We can correct this through the panel of F curves. We modify the curve. OK, perfect. Obviously we will have to animate the other letters. Let's go to frame 93. Select all the layers except the P, and insert a tag display. We select all the tags, except for subtitle, and insert the value 0, on visibility. In frame 94, change the value from 0 to 100. For the layer subtitle, repeat the same procedures, in the frame 150. We return to the frame 94, select all the letters that make up our logo, and insert a keyframe in the Z position. We repeat the same procedure in the frame 162. In frame 94, the value of Z is minus 200. This is the movement. We create the rotation of the letters. For the letter H, Y, E, we apply a rotation H of 90 degrees. We select the R1, R2, O, we apply a rotation of minus 90 degrees. We need to change the axial center of the letter Y, because it rotates on a pivot wrong. Let's go in the front view, and move the pivot to the right, like in the video. OK. In the letter T2, we anticipate the animation of the position, from frame 162 to 125. Select the layers A, R1, E, move the frame from 162 to 152.
Ok, this is the complete animation. Let's save our file camera letters animation. Open the file material C4D. This file has the same materials used on Legend of the Guardians, with some modifications. I applied a bump, using the lava rock textures. We copy and paste the material in our project. During the first part of the animation, we will apply the material of the layer letter start part. In the second part of the animation we will use the material of the layer letter final part. The noise 1 and 2 materials are the same as Legend of the Guardians, but with the color black. Proceed with the placement. We make a render in frame 87. This is the result of rough chrome material. We select all the layers and groups them into start part. Duplicate and rename the group final part. We apply on it the materials letter final part. We make a render and view the result. We need to delete the noise from the layer subtitle. And in the group start part, delete the subtitle layer. OK. Insert a light, type area. In the coordinates panel, insert Y, 58, Z, 1230. In the details panel, modify the size width, 2600, 58. Edit the color, 250, 242. Intensity to 400. To make it more interesting lighting effect, duplicate the noise and apply a color. Thirty nine, fifty two, fifty four. Rename noise 4 and 3.
and we replace them in all the layers. We make a render and view the result. Wow! Very nice! Insert the light area in the final part. To simplify the compositing work in After Effects, we insert the suffix full. Duplicate and rename final part frontal. In this group we delete the light and leave only the mesh front of the logo. We make a render. Proceed with the realization of lightning in 3D that move around the letter P and O. This is what we must achieve. Through the technique that I will explain you can create movement around objects. I followed the original animation, but you can create the movement you want. To begin, we need the path of the lightning and the polygon, positioned behind where show, our path. We can get the design of lightning in Cinema 4D or in any vector program. We select the lightning layer to be show, and go to Structure Edit Spline Project. We set the XY plane. and apply. As we can see, it was applied in the corner. This technique can be applied to any surface. We can also apply on a sphere. Let's create the animation. Insert a cylinder with the following values. Eight, two hundred thirty, two hundred thirty six.
we apply the tool spline wrap. On splines line, insert the lightning path. We select the cylinder and spline wrap layers and group them. We select the spline wrap and set in keep length mode. If you move the offset slide, we see the movement of the cylinder. We change the orientation of rotation. We select the cylinder and modify the rotation to 90 degrees. OK, view the animation. To make pointed, the edges, go to the size panel, and insert a points. OK. We can reduce the diameter of the cylinder, and proceed with the animated sequence. Let's go to frame 0 and insert a keyframe on offsets with a value of 100. Let's go to frame 40 and change the value to 0. As we can see, the exterior is visible. To change this, create an animated sequence on the two. In frame 0, we insert a keyframe to 0. In frame 20, insert the value 50. In frame 40, insert the value 0. View the animation. We can add a tag display with visibility in the frame 0 to 0. In frame 1, 100. We repeat the same steps in the frame 39 and 40. This is our animation. We return to our project. We can see how I applied the same technique on the letter P and O.
Of course you can apply and adapt the lightning in your logo. Most important in this animation, the lightning is moving in sequence from left to right. I created two materials with the glow, to be applied to lightning. In the first part we apply the material glow halo, with the following values. This material creates a halo of light around the letter. The second material is used to highlight in the power of lightning, and has the following values. The two materials must be rendered individually, for final compositing into After Effects. Most importantly, remember to activate the Object Glow effect, in Render Settings panel. But, if you are not satisfied with the results of these materials, you can apply another very special material. Create a new material. We open the Material Editor panel. And, on Color, apply a gradient. Follow on the video the placement of the colors. Now we apply the turbulence parameter with value 17. Frequency to 9. And view the result. Copy the channel and apply it on Alpha. We can also change the tilt angle.
Let's go to frame 120, on layer logo frontal, insert 0, on opacity. Modify the value to 100 in frame 150. Repeat the same sequence in the layer start full. We complete by inserting the layer's logo lightning, followed the order on video. Put the layer VFX in add mode. The layer halo in lighten mode. This is the sequence of our logo. We select all the layers that make up the logo, and create a pre-comp. Drag the video dark clouds, as the basis of the project. As we can see the video is synchronized. We put the layer HP7 in add mode. Let's go to frame 60 and 75, insert a keyframe on opacity. In frame 60 change the value to 0. You can change the opacity according to the movement of your logo. I have changed to 70. Let's go to frame 100 and insert a keyframe on opacity to 0. Duplicate the layer and put it in normal mode. We create a crossfade, starting from the frame 70. Completed by inserting the layer subtitle. In frame 150, we create a mask animation, to reveal the subtitle. Follow the scheme on video. Mask feather to 9. To improve the effect we put in overlay mode.
we apply the preset to bevel in the folder. Very nice. This preset has a layer style ready to create the bevel. We add an adjustment layer, and insert it under the layer subtitle. Insert a glow effect. Rename the layer, Glow. To spice up the glow, apply in Layers HP7 logo, and exposure, with a value of 0.9 and gamma 0.7. As we can see the result is very interesting. We apply the last preset over the dark clouds layer. Duplicate the glow layer and rename Lightning Clouds. We apply the preset. Here is our result. We complete the correction of the glow layer, entering 0 inch frame 88. And 100 in frame 150. Insert a black solid layer, we insert in the frame 200, opacity to 0, and 100 at the end of our animation. Okay, let's proceed with the rendering. This is the result of our work. Very cool. I remind you the next appointment for the realization of the movie title Pirates of the Caribbean. Another very interesting animation. I hope this tutorial has been to your liking.